Hi, my little angels. Hi. Come on, get in here. Everybody, come on in. Come on in. Yes, there's something different about me. What is it? Do you notice? Yes, I have a new hairdo, and I love it. Thank you, Paula. <laughs> I absolutely love this hair. I love having a pixie. I love not having a part. I'm still playing with it, but yeah, I love it. I hope you guys like it too. I feel more like me this way. Um, but yeah, so welcome in. Everybody, come on in. Come on in. I see we have some new little angels. Hello. Thank you for coming. Make yourself comfortable. Everybody, and that means my returning angels too. There's a comfy chair over there and the rocking chair that fits two. And of course, the hammock that fits three, four if you get friendly. And we've got meditation mats and floor cushions and the big comfy couch too. Okay, so make yourselves comfortable. Hi guys, we haven't had a mental health check-in in a while. So I thought we could do it and kind of combine it with some things, some triggers. I have some really cool triggers to show you um, that all have to do with mental health. But first, let me show you my shirt. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, it's notes to self and it's, okay, let's see if I can read upside down. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you this one. So this one is, it's okay to start over and try again. Yes, it is. And you are doing the best that you can. Yes, you and your boundaries are important. Yes, they are. Your feelings are valid. You are allowed to say no. We talk about that all the time, guys. You're capable of amazing things. And it's okay to ask for help, guys. It's always okay. You are worthy and lovable. I love this t-shirt, okay? And I wanted to wear it today for you guys, okay? And I matched my eyeshadow to it. But I have to tell you guys, we're gonna get right into the triggers in just a second because I've been promising this for a while. Um, my my new angels don't know about this, but my, my little ones do, my returning angels do. Okay, so a little while ago, I went to the Mary Berg show, um, The Good Stuff, the films here in Toronto and I went with my very good friend Kathy Hi, Kathy. and we had a blast we just had a blast it was the celebrating mother's mother's day show um, because tomorrow is mother's day and this is going to be our celebration of mother's day as well we're doing a happy one I'm also going to do a video tonight and release it tonight um, if mother's day is hard for you because it's hard for a lot of us guys a lot so because it was a Mother's Day program, they gave us stuff. Now, if you watched, and why wouldn't you, the um, Mother's Day gift ideas video, you saw the high tea. We were given that as well. That was, I just loved it. It was delicious. It was wonderful. Um, and it's not too late. Watch that video. There's some great ideas with, all you need is two boxes of tea or two candles. There's still you can even get them at the dollar store, okay? Or even two copies of the same picture and put them in picture frames. And what you do is you give one to your mom and you tell her you keep one. And you say, I hope you think of me when you drink your tea, light your candle, look at the picture, because I will be thinking of you when I fill in the blank. Great gift, it's thoughtful, but you have to write it in the card. Don't just say it. She's got to have something to show her friends. Okay. So I want to show you what the generous, wonderful Mary Berg and the staff at The Good Stuff gave us. It's incredible. First of all, there was a pair of beautiful gold heart earrings. Um, there were gold fill, that were gold plated, I guess. Anyways, they're stunning. I wish I could show them to you. But a certain individual who shall remain nameless baby angel has them and I haven't been able to get a hold of them yet so my eyes are really puffy today guys I'm so sorry I'm really sorry okay so the rest so the only two that I don't have to show you are um the high tea box obviously and those earrings so the other things they gave us 
it's just incredible just incredible okay so the 10 spot is a nail and facial place and they have offices all over so we were given this wonderful makeup bag with a $60 gift card no joke you can get facials you can buy three get one free awesome place awesome um, again baby angel has that one so the rest mama kept <laughs> Oh, but here's the ear. Oh, the earrings are in here. I thought Baby Angel had them. They're right here. Aren't they freaking stunning? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And the company that makes them is Oleda. I want to give everybody fair credit, you know? Okay, so we'll put that there. I thought Baby Angel had them. I must have got them back. Then, oh, and this was the high tea voucher um, from do, 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 Olive and Fig and it was so fabulous you guys saw that and then we were given this now I don't actually know how this all works all right but just this yeah this is a guess your guess where trip so what happens is um, and they give us a great tote bag to go with it. You're basically booking a trip and you don't know where you're going. In on Like this one is gonna be in Ontario. It's a day trip. It's not an overnight or anything. Um, but they tell you, you'll get envelopes along the way. It tells you where to go, um, places to see. I did see one that said haunted historic places. I wanna do that one. I wanna do that one. So that's gonna be something we're all gonna use in the summertime. Are you ready for this? And if you think this is the best one, uh-uh. Charlotte Tilbury. Full-size bottle. No joke. I'm going to show you. Just in okay. case. A little sample one. Look, full-size. And this is a moisturizer. I haven't even opened it, guys. I told you I was saving everything to show you guys. Oh my God, it smells so good. Not only is it a great moisturizer, it acts as a primer as well. Okay. So we're freaking out because we got all this stuff, right? The confetti's flying down. We're like, this is, this couldn't get any better. And then at the end of the show, they had um, a mother and son that we were watching it live happen um, in London, Ontario. And she guessed she was able to answer the questions about him. So they gave her two free round trip tickets anywhere the Flair airline flies. We're flipping out. We're like, this is such a great gift. This is awesome. Just awesome. And then the confetti flew because we all got the same prize. That's right. Everyone in the audience got two free round trip tickets to anywhere Flair flies. Flair flies. So I wanted to thank the Mary Burke show. Um, she has no idea that I'm doing this. She doesn't know who I am. But I just had such a great time and it did a lot for me, guys. It really did. Now, let's talk about our mental health. Let's talk about mental health, baby. Okay. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> it's Mother's Day tomorrow. I can do anything I want. So, I need my glasses. It's been that kind of a day. Um, I think I got them all. I think. I hope. Okay. So, I ended up getting us these. Oh, this is the wonderful heal like coping skills. No, it's healthy coping skills, Kimberly. But I thought these were great for those that like the tapping. And I thought I could read them to you. Okay, so healthy coping skills are reading a book, listening to music, 
doing a puzzle. Deep breathing. We do our deep breathing. Cleaning. You should just take that one right out, I think. Yeah. Arts and crafts. Going for a walk. Gardening. Taking a break. Getting some rest. Oh, that's a gardening one. Okay, I thought that was something else. Um, spend time with your pet. Um, practice self-love. Meditation. Self-affirmations. Those are really good, you guys. And journaling. See, there's all kinds of things you can do. These are healthy coping skills. And we've talked about all of these before. You know what it is, guys? Just do things that make you happy or make you feel fulfilled. And sometimes it can be hard and you're going out of your comfort zone. I like these glasses with this hair. I'm giving off a sexy librarian. Anyways, what it does is it really... Sometimes it can be uncomfortable doing self-affirmations. You know, you look in the mirror and you're like... You are lovable, you are worthy, you're a good person, you deserve to be loved, you are, you have a light inside you that shines through. I say this to you guys all the time, all right? I mean it. You have this inside you and I want you to let it shine. I want you to feel all of these things, okay? To do these things. The next one is get your daily dose. Okay, this one is great because it talks about the actual hormones that are inside. And we have, let's see, we have the dopamine. I cannot read these little printing. Oh, hold that thought. Son of a biscuit. Okay, there we go. Son of a nutcracker. I have my magnifying glass. Okay, so dopamine is, it enables motivation, learning, and pleasure. It gives you determination to accomplish goals, desires, and needs. Pretty cool. Okay, the next one is oxytocin. Gives feelings of trust, motivates you to build and sustain relationships. It's also known as the cuddle or love hormone and it plays a role in bonding. I always call it the hug hormone, because it feels good. <laughs> Serotonin, it's feeling significant or important among peers. Calm from accepting of yourself with the people around you. And then there's endorphins. This releases a brief euphoria to mask physical pain, response to pain and stress to alleviate anxiety and depression. And those are the happiness chemicals. Okay, so what it says about dopamine, chemical of reward, achieving a goal, completing a task, eating a food you love, or celebrating little wins. Guys, take the little W's and celebrate them, okay? Did you get out of bed today when you wanted nothing more than to stay in it with the covers drawn up and the drapes closed? Did you get out of bed? Good for you. I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Did you get dressed today? Because there's days where it's hard. Good for you. I'm proud of you. Did you accomplish something you wanted to accomplish today? Good for you. Did you say no to somebody? That's really good, guys. Another one, this one is the oxytocin, the hormone of love. Spend time with friends, show affection, do something nice for someone. Physical touch, like holding hands. And there's just something about that connection with people that makes, because I forgot to say it, it takes this great big world and goes and makes it smaller. And that's a good thing. Okay, guys. So... Do something that makes you feel connected to someone else and you'll feel that love. 
I promise. And then the serotonin is a mood stabilizer. Be with nature or in sunlight. Exercise. Mindfulness. Get massages. Take a cold shower. If you enjoy those kind of things, I personally would say take a hot shower. Um, do things that make you feel good. You know, physically, that, that's a great thing. And then we have our lovely endorphins. A painkiller. Laughter or crying. Yoga or meditation. Regular exercises. Laughter. Create music or art. Also watching a movie. Um, one of the things there that I love is laughter or crying. Did you know it's okay to cry, guys? It really is. Because when you cry, there's an actual hormone that is released. Basically, it's not so much an endorphin as well. It's, there's another one. And it really makes you feel better. So for me, I'll tell you my guilty one. My guilty pleasure. I turn on YouTube and I watch soldiers surprising their family videos. A ball. Or kids asking their step-parent to adopt them. I'm a puddle. Just a puddle. Just a puddle. Okay. So that's this one. So try to get your daily dose of these, okay? That one I'm saving for last because it's my favorite. Okay, and this one is radical acceptance. Now these are coping statements. So I'm going to say the statement and I want you to say it back to me, okay? Come on, you can do it. And if somebody's with you, say it to each other, okay? I'm counting on you. This situation is only temporary. Good job. I won't stress over the things that I can't change. Good job, guys. That one's a hard one, but it, it's, it's true. I can't change what has already happened. No, you can't. Deal and move on. That's the only thing we can do. I won't waste my energy or my time fighting with the past. And with Mother's Day being hard for some people, that one's important. You know, why keep having the same fight over and over again? I have, de I have dealt with difficulties before and I can deal with this. You guys have come through so much. I know you have. I absolutely know you have. Okay. And I'm so proud of you for doing that. I might not like it, but this is what is has happened. I might not like it, but this is what has happened. Accepting what's happened, yeah. Okay. We can't always control what's happened, but we can control how we react to it. How I react in this situation is what I can control in this very moment. It is, especially when you're feeling completely out of control, concentrate on what you can control. Even if it's just the fact that you're doing your deep breathing. The present is the only moment I have control over. It's true, you can't control the future. Past is already gone, you got this moment. Make the most of it. I don't have control over the past. We just said that. I just said that. I can't predict the future, and I'm okay with that. That one's a hard one for me. I want to control the future. And then this one is daily reminders and baby angel is actually going to take this one to university with her so you are enough yes you are it's okay to have bad days oh my goodness we all do but try not to let a bad moment become a bad day i'm guilty of that you guys don't believe everything you think okay i'm going to say that one again 
don't believe everything you think, okay? We've talked about this before. Depression and anxiety are liars. They like to squiggle around inside our head and whisper things in our ears. It's okay not to believe everything we think, okay? We think they're not going to like us. We think we're stupid. We think we did this wrong. We think we said this wrong. It's not true, guys. You are so very loved. Yes, you are. I love you, okay? And I'm a smart cookie. I know that you guys are lovable. Be kinder to yourself. Say it with me. Be kinder to yourself. All right? I want you to treat the person in the mirror like you would treat your best friend. Okay? Will you do that for me? You guys are great. Thank you. And this is my favorite because we've talked about this so many times. For those of my returning angels, what's Auntie Angel's favorite word? Oh, you got it. Oh, so do you. Good, good job, you guys. Yet. Three little letters. Y-E-T. Yet. Yet is amazing. There's power in it. The power of yet. All you have to do is add it to the end of a sentence. I don't know yet. This doesn't work yet. I don't understand this yet. This doesn't make sense yet. I'm not good at this yet. I can't do this. There's power in the word yet. And I want you guys to have that power, okay? So, here's what we're gonna do. You guys are gonna work on this. You can rewatch this video if you want. Pick the one you love the most. And I want you to take a post-it note. I want you to write out one positive daily affirmation. I want you to stick it right on your mirror. And I want you to say it, not once, not twice. I want you to say it three times, okay? And if you're having a hard time believing it, if you can't see yourself, see yourself with my eyes, because I think you're amazing, okay? I love you, I value you, I honor you, and I am so very, very glad that you were born.